Okay, this is a special edition of Voice of the Vet. And today, as you see, we have Sadie, the Voice of the Vet dog. And today is about her reaction to an incident uh, that I was involved in. And I want to just give her all the praise in the world as my service dog and just my all around girl. <laughs> all right, so let's get started about what happened. On January 7th, 2019, I came out here in the apartment complex I live in and threw the garbage away and the little place they got for the dumpsters and I had Sadie with me and I always take her for a walk a lot and she's got to pee so I bring her over here and she goes up down here in this area down here where there's a uh, smaller rocks now as you can see on this section right here of this sidewalk see all these big huge rocks well let's put my foot by this one right here for example they stick over onto the sidewalk all right and to me I think that's ridiculous it's an accident waiting to happen uh, it just shows uh, no good thought of somebody tripping over these things like yours truly doctor's report ER report on that night, I'm not sure what time it was. Um, I can tell you that this report um, was around, it looks like around 1030 at night, but that's by the time I got done with the x-rays and everything else. Well, what I did is I threw the garbage away and she never pulls me. She never jerks me. She's always very easy to walk with and there's never, ever, ever a problem. And there was not a problem this day in question. So I turned to walk and I tripped on that rock right down here. You can see how big this thing is. And there's my foot to show you that it goes higher than the sidewalk, higher than my foot. So I lost my balance. And then I hit some more rocks. And I lost more balance. So then now, I'm, I've lost it. I'm 63 years old. I don't have the talent or coordination I had when I was in my 20s or 30s. I'd like to think I do, but I don't. So I, I lost my balance. I fell on those rocks right here, these rocks right here. You can see these things are not, they're sharp. Some of them are very jagged. I hit them hard my entire body. Now let's face it, I'm not a little guy and I'm not light. It is what it is. So I fell down there, my shoulder hit again, after I hit these rocks, my shoulder hit in the dirt, dirt down here, I was facing, as you see the camera, when I, and it knocked the wind out of me, and I, for a minute there, I didn't know what was going on. But when I kind of got my wits about me, I'm facing this way, the complete 180. I, I really, I did not know what was going on. I was in an extreme amount of pain. Yeah, I'm on, I played football and hockey a large portion of my life and I've had my butt just laid right out but this was the most pain I've ever had so I lost my, my phone fell out of my pocket even so I could not reach it the pain in my chest up here in the right area was uh, very intense and the pain in my hip was real intense I could hardly move so I'm trying to reach my phone I couldn't do it I'm taking my hand I'm going like this Sadie mimics me and starts doing the same thing. Her paw hit the back portion of my phone. It flipped over once. I could grab my phone then. So then I was able to call 911. I had to be taken in by ambulance. And it was, uh, let's just say, uh, one of the most irritating days of my life. Because there's absolutely no reason for these rocks to be here. They serve no safe purpose whatsoever it's an accident waiting to happen whoever decided to do this whoever approved this um, your head's not on your shoulders let's put it that way and I think everybody will agree with me I'm very irritated by this because it's one month later and a couple of broken ribs that are almost healed it hurts when I cough or sneeze and my hip I still have uh, a bump here about the size bigger than a softball it was bigger than half of a soccer ball. I had bruising from this point of my chest all the way down to my knee. 
And it, even as the report says here, it says contusion of the hip. Well, that's one hell of a contusion when it's that big and all the bruising. Contusion of the right knee. I had knee surgery. That's not helping matters a whole bit. And rib fracture. It's right here. I gave it to the complex. I gave them pictures of everything here. Um, so you, the rocks, when I hit, there were three rocks that were laying over here about three, four feet away. So I don't know if I tried to drive them down to China or, uh, you know, be a human jackhammer and try to break them, but they moved, all right? They broke me is what they did. And I just want to say that the we had a, a manager here uh, that has moved on, and she's got a, got a promotion in the company. She's a really nice person. Um, I have not met the new manager yet, but the thing that irritates me is nobody from the company has made any attempt whatsoever to contact me, to ask me any questions, or even to say, are you okay? Um, it's not like I'm going to go out and say, well, I'm going to sue you. No, you know, I honestly haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Because if I can fall on this, who else can fall? And it's all throughout the entire complex. Now, if you see down here to my right, your left, you got this little pea gravel right here. And this stuff, you know, if you fall on this, you're not going to hurt yourself. But here's another Einstein ridiculous uh, development or design here. Look, you got a lip here, you know, and you could fall on this. And it, it, there's just the lack of thought on all this is absolutely pathetic. It's ridiculous, it's pathetic, it's totally unsafe, not just for older uh, citizens, but for anybody, children included. You could have kids run through here. They trip over the side here, they're going down. They could hit their head on anything, rocks included. And it's just something needs to be done to do the right thing. Yeah, am I a little upset about everything? Yeah, I am. I'm not gonna hold back on that. But what really needs to be done is somebody needs to get, grow some common sense because we all know common sense is dying in America. I think it's dying all over the world, but um, let's get it together, people. Let's do the right thing. Get rid of these damn rocks. They're, it's ridiculous. They, they don't even look good. They look stupid. All right, they're, they're big. They're, some of them are bigger than the football, and it's just wrong. Put the pea gravel in there so if somebody does fall, they don't get hurt. And you don't have someone like me making these videos that I look like I'm pissed off of the world. I'm not. I'm just letting you know that this is wrong. All the viewers that we have that know me and people that know me personally, they know I'm a pretty calm guy. But this is wrong. I went through a lot of pain and I still go through pain. So I drive my car. I got to put the seatbelt on. The seatbelt's right here where this big old bump is. And it's, it hurts. I mean, this thing burns. I The bruising was the most severe bruising I ever had in my life. But let's fix this. Let's take care of the people that live in this community so it doesn't happen again. I will do a follow-up on this if anything happens or if something doesn't happen. But it's, it's wrong. But my praise in all of this is for my service dog, Sadie. That's my girl. I'm laying down there. She comes down there, gives me a couple kisses, and lay down right next to me. And she was there. She wasn't going anywhere. And so when I started reaching for the phone, like I said, she was able to flip it. I don't know how she did it, but she did it. And, you know, it made all the difference for me. And no one heard me, obviously. I couldn't yell because the ribs and the pain I was in. She did bark a few times. Of course, nobody's going to hear that. You know, it's just like, uh, well, you know, I don't want to be bothered. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm being sarcastic. But bottom line is, I'm, I thank God for my service dog, and I, she is, she's my little hero. She really is. And we're going to do se uh, sections on or uh, segments on service dogs because I know firsthand now how important they are, and it's gonna, we're going to continue with the, the service dogs or service pets, and uh, we're going to give them the credit they deserve and the people that train them and their handlers. So that's all I got to say for now. Uh, stay tuned for more, and thanks. Make a great day today. Thank you.